I was so delighted to be at the Poetry by Heart Scotland finals this year. It's great to see the young people with their different kinds of voices, their different kind of poetry, and to bring it all alive and, as they say, from the heart. Good afternoon everybody and a very warm welcome to the National Galleries of Scotland, which today serve as an outpost for the Scottish Poetry Library. My name is Roberta McLeod, I'm a teacher at Bishop Briggs Academy. Uh, this is my second year with a student in the competition. Last year we won. It's a really difficult thing to, to stand up in front of uh, a, a theatre full, full, um, full of an audience and, and perform with such confidence, uh, such sort of um, sureness. I liked the dramatic monologue nature of the, the first poem, the pre-1914 one, and thought that I could um, inject a bit of character into that. And um, it's very dark, so that's another kind of appeal, I guess. The rain set early into night. The sullen wind was soon awake. It tore the elm tops down for spite. Uh, the Queen of Sheba by Kathleen Jamie and Tale of by Robert Burns. Oh yeah, ugly, creeping, blasted winner. Detested, shunned by son and sinner. On your hunkers in the wheat, fingers thickening among the dried, bleeding green of the leaves, the nets tent flat, twisted in a... Um, I performed The War Photographer by Carol Ann Duffy and Tumus by Robert Burns. A hundred agonies in black and white, from which his editor will pick out five or six. And my first poem was I Cannot Deem My Men Toil So For Fame by Alexander Smith. And my second one was a uh, View Scotland Love Poem by Liz Lockhead. We are weak. We ever hunger for diviner stores. I cannot say I have a thirsting deed for you. I go. And it is done. The bell invites me. To a louse by Robert Burns. You ugly, creeping, blasted one. Detested, shunned by son and sinner. How dare you set your foot upon her? Say, find a lady. Gave someone else to seat your dinner on some poor body. They say I should not wait about your street, nor call upon your friends to hear of you, but go to places where by chance we'll meet. It's really just just gives you, I guess, gives you a boost in com confidence as public speaking, and that's useful, like you know, for job interviews and all that kind of thing. It's applicable in loads of different areas. Second poem um, appealed to me on a political and human level. I liked the informal tone of it and as if it was just you talking to your mate. And um, I felt like it was an important thing to say that, you know, regardless of what you believe, we're all in this together and we should try and make Scotland a better place. My first one, I really liked the emotion in it and uh, all the different ways that people could interpret it. So they could, um, and draw on like, what they thought about it and the second one I thought it was a really nice story to it and a lot of people can relate to it. London Scottish it's about a rugby team and I really enjoy rugby and I like playing rugby so that's why I picked that one. It's just lovely to sit back and have all of this uh, incredible poetry performed for you uh, and, to, and to just enjoy the, the power of the word it's wonderful. Great opportunities to build confidence wonderful opportunity to, to have words with them forever. I've loved poetry since I was uh, very young and it's always helped me because I do acting as well and it always helped me for remembering like scripts and remembering um, anything, any speeches that you have to do in your life. It's so good because you've got this background, this knowledge of poetry. Listen to the sounds in my voice. These are reverberations of conversations that resonate around my world. Sometimes it's how you say it. It was really difficult. Um, we there was there was such a strong range of, of, of poetry uh, performed today that, that we had differing views. Two winners this year, Ellie Mackay. Yeah. They had very, very different performance styles, 
Uh, and that was why it was so difficult to choose between them. And in the end, we, we, we simply couldn't. They were both uh, at such a high standard that we decided to, to award them both for the first place. Thank you.